Okay guys, so this is my camera bag. As you can see, I like to travel pretty light. I did go through the phases of having a huge rucksack and literally taking everything photography related with me everywhere I went. Um, so that was numerous lenses, numerous cameras, you name it, I crammed it into those bags. And I had rucksacks, I even went through the stage of taking my Peli case with me places, which was, as you can imagine, extremely impractical. But a couple of years ago, I got sick of it really, and I stripped my kit right back. And it's now all in this. So this is the Peak Design Everyday Sling. I think it's the 10 litre version. Um, I did have the 5 litre version, but literally all you could fit in it was um, a camera and maybe two lenses, depending on the lenses. But this one fits everything I need perfectly. So yeah, like I said, I stripped my kit right back uh, a couple of years ago to carrying just one camera body and two lenses. That's all I really needed. And I think if you give yourself that challenge, then it's all you will need. You'll make use of what you've got, basically. And it means it keeps everything light. Like, see, trying to carry like numerous lenses, numerous camera bodies, just everything just adds weight. And if you're trying to go on a hike or you're doing something like that, the less weight, the better. In my opinion, the less weight, the better. So camera wise, I'm using the Sony a7 III. I upgraded to this a few years ago um, for photo and video. Uh, it's a great camera. It's quite a few years old now, but it still uh, rattles out good images, I'll tell you that. Um, on the bottom, I've got just a tripod plate, Manfrotto tripod plate, and I've got the little Peak Design, what are these called again? Um, Peak Design safety hooks. I don't really know what they're called. Uh, Anyway, I've got these on both sides just attached to a camera strap. Um, locks. Something locks. Anyway, so I've got those on that. And on the camera itself right now is the Sony G Master 16-35 f2.8. It is an awesome lens for a lot of the stuff that I do is kind of fly on the wall um, documentary style stuff or interview setups and things like that. And this lens is fantastic. Um, super sharp. For me, you can't really beat the quality of that lens. I'm actually using these uh, Polar Pro rugged lens caps, which are amazing. So you're not faffing about with like those little clicky lens caps, and they always come off in your bag and stuff like that. These are super sturdy rubber ones, super solid. So yeah, the other lens I carry with me is the Sony 85mm f1.8. Now I like it's a fairly cheap lens but I still think it is amazing. It's super small, it's lightweight, it's compact and the images from it are fantastic. I still use this for a lot of headshot stuff and um, I used it in the headshot video that was on the channel before. If you've not seen it, check it out. Um, use this lens on that. I absolutely love it um, and it works really well with the Sony um, a7 III as well. Again, another one of these lens caps. Moving on, what else have we got in here? Yep, got camera strap, Peak Design camera strap. Uses these locks on the side here. Just simple click in and pull. That's all you need to do. It's great. Um, super handy, really comfy camera strap actually. Invest in a camera strap, that's my advice to you. Um, on the other side here, I've got a little camera remote. So when you're doing those time lapses, or headshots and things like that. You don't want to be always crouched down behind the camera. You can just trigger it remotely, just click away. Really handy. Again, really cheap, but always worth having in your camera bag. Uh, next here, down the side. So I've got a little tech pouch here. I think this one was from the DJI uh, Ronin S, um, but I now use it for like hard drives and things. Let me see. Of course the zip's broken on it because I'm an idiot. Okay, so you've got to kind of push it around. But yeah, I've got some cables in here, the ever elusive MacBook dongle, which you always need to carry with you. Um, a little Samsung T5 hard drive that obviously it says work on it, so. Fun stuff. Um, so yeah, got that in there as well. And also in here, which I love about the size of this bag is, I can fit a 13 inch MacBook Pro, which is amazing for if I'm traveling, 
um, it's all I need. It's a one-stop shop. All right, so we've got that in there as well. Let me see if we've got anything else in here, in this little zip pocket here. Um, got batteries, spare batteries, always need those. In the front here, let's see what I've got. Got a little lens cleaning cloth, standard. So in the front here, I've also got some camera filters. Now, they're not Tiffin, as it says, I'm just using the pouch. I've got, I carry two camera filters with me. The first one here is, it's got a nice little cover on it, Polar Pro, again. Um, this is the Peter McKinnon Variable ND. Um, two to five stop, I think it is, yeah. They're basically like sunglasses for your lens. Um, I can do a whole video on these if you want me to, but if not, then cool. Just think of them as sunglasses for your lens. You can see there, I can twist that and it basically stops the light getting through. So I've got one of those. It's really handy for video outside. You, if, you're, if you're shooting in bright sunlight, these are fantastic. Um, and the other one in here I've got. It's a bit dirty. Uh, I've got a circular polarizer. Polar Pro circular polarizer. Really good for taking the glare off of cars or water and things like that and just making the colours a bit more vibrant. So yeah, I've got two filters that I carry with me. That's those two. I think that's pretty much it. That's everything that's in my camera bag. Um, so I hope this kind of gave you a little insight into the way I work. Like I said, like to travel light. Um, if you want to see any other setups that I use, if it's like video setups, if it's this setup, who knows? Um, please leave a comment down below. I uh, would love to hear from you. Hit the like button. Um, and if you've not done already, please subscribe to this channel. Um, we'd really appreciate it. And yeah, cheers guys. And see you later. Bye.